If you're looking for a small business grant for minorities and for startup businesses and more, you've landed on the right video. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about a brand new grant that I did apply for, and it's only gonna take you around seven minutes to apply for this business grant. So guys, welcome to my channel, a big, huge welcome if it's your first time and welcome back for those who hang out with me a lot. Um, this channel, on this channel, you'll find motivation, tips, marketing tips, and all that good stuff. Um, so if you want to see more content like this on the channel, please do give the video a big, huge thumbs up so that we can show this video to so many more people and help them to get you know small business grants and funding and all that stuff so that they can grow and move their businesses forward so guys i'm just going to get right into the content i found this video and by the way my voice is a little froggy because i'm recording this video earlier than i ever record my videos it's actually on christmas eve and it's before anybody is up in my house so super super early um, cause it's been super loud at my house around the holidays. So my voice is always a little bit froggy in the morning. So excuse me with that. So, okay. So this particular grant guys is being given right now by invoice to go. You're going to go to invoice.togo.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you how long it took for me to apply, what my responses were. I'm going to give you an example of what responses I use and what information they are looking for. So what's so beautiful about this grant is that you don't have to be in business for years over years um, to be able to qualify for the grant. I don't believe you have to be a male or female to qualify for the grant, but you do have to fall within the category of a minority, a small business who's made under a million dollars in a year. Um, and we're going to talk more about that. Well, first of all, let me talk to you a little bit about the company that is giving um, this opportunity to win funding for your business. Invoice to go basically makes it easy for companies to be able to work efficiently. Um, they provide you a way to be able to send invoices with ease, but that's not where they stop guys. They have all kinds of resources. We're not going to dig into them. Um, I mean, all kinds of features. We're not going to dig into them real deep today because I want to get to talking to you about how to apply for the grant. But just so that you know, they provide tools to help you to get paid faster, to stay organized, and to win more work. And as you can see on the screen, they do invoices, payments, bank account, invoice app. Okay, you can stay organized. They help you with your projects, reports, payroll, and integrations. I really think it's cool that they have a tool for payroll. And these are other things that help you, other tools here that help you to win more work. So you're just going to go over to invoice.togo.com just to see a little bit about more of what they do. Um, you can try it free, no credit card required. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not a part of any sort of affiliate program. I'm just mainly coming in to talk to you guys about how to get the funding. They have a lot of um, great resources that small businesses can use for free as well, such as an invoice template that you can use, a free invoice generator, a competitor comparison as well, which looks really good. They have a very, very good blog with lots of information and things like that. They have a female um, founders podcast and just a lot of things here that resources they have for small business owners that you can take advantage of. Okay, but we're going to go down to invoice to grow which is the name of the funding program um, that where they're giving away this money to small businesses okay so they're giving away two hundred thousand dollars to help small business owners um, that are from specifically minority communities they want to help you to take your next step so even if you are a new business and you're looking to take those next steps and you have limited funding this grant is also open to you so this is probably guys one of the very first 
grant applications that I've actually done in about seven minutes, seven or eight minutes. This is the very first one that I've never had to upload my financials, like my bank statements and jump through a lot of hoops to apply. Like not that I have a problem, but I'm just saying this is probably one of the easiest grant applications that I have ever completed so what you're gonna do guys and I'm gonna put the link in the comments you're gonna come down to I mean in the description you're gonna go to invoice dot to go dot com forward slash grow and this is where you're going to be able to apply for the grant so let's just go down over who can apply okay so they are recognizing the contributions and untapped potential of small business owners from underrepresented groups okay why should you apply? You can receive up to 15000 to grow your company. Um, and you can join their community of business owners. And you can also gain access to exclusive workshops and things like that that they do. So who can apply? You must be an owner of a business. You must be a legal U.S. resident. You must be 18 years or older. Okay. You must be a majority owned, okay, by a legal U.S. resident who identifies as one or more of the following. Asian Indian, Asian Pacific, Black, Latino, Native American, or Alaska Native, Arab, or Middle Eastern, Native Hawaiian, or Pacific Islander, LB, LGBTQ, um, or as a person with a disability, your business must be less than five years old and have no more than 10 employees, You and you must have an annual revenue equal or less to one million, okay? So how to win guys, you're just gonna apply by completing the form with your name, email, and photo. And I'm gonna talk to you more about that. Um, and then in 200 words or less, you're going to explain your business and how winning would support your business and community. So just to kind of share what I did, I actually applied right from my phone. I clicked apply now. It's gonna take you into this form, this type form where you can type all of your responses. I will tell you it may be a little easier because of the view of the screen to apply with your laptop or your desktop or something like that. So I'm just gonna click apply so that we can go through the application. They want you to confirm that both you and your business is eligible for the GROW program. Um, so I'm gonna hit confirm. So the first thing that we're gonna do is type the first and last name. Okay, and I'm just gonna type sample for now. And then you're just gonna put your email in and I'm just gonna put in Dallas Gordon at hotmail.com. It's not my email address, by the way. And then, so my business's name and description and purpose. So this is the meaty part, guys, of the application. So let me go over, you know, a little bit about how I responded and also what's important here, okay? So they tell you basically how they're gonna measure your response, okay, and count you towards winning this funding, which parts of the response has the most weight, okay? So this is broken down into three parts. Remember, you can only have 200 words or less. What I did was I just wrote what naturally came to me first. And then once I realized I had hit the, um, the maximum words I could type, I went back and edited my responses. So the first thing is easy. You're just gonna tell them your business's name, description and purpose. And you're gonna include the one challenge that your business overcame and the one challenge that you still face that winning additional funds would help to alleviate. So I shared my business's name. I shared, you know, what we do and who we help. So basically, guys, I have a journaling business um, where I provide a subscription box for um, people who, you know, um, love to journal, love creative writing. Journaling can help with their mental health, all of those kinds of things. One challenge that we, that for my business, we overcame was we started during the pandemic. We were able to overcome um, some of the challenges around that and winning the additional funds could help us to get more office space in the future. Okay, so that's sort of like what my response looked like. Um, and then you go into how do you plan on using the funds to improve your business if you win? So you wanna share guys how it's gonna improve your business. For me, I need a bigger office space to run my business. Um, for you, what would $15,000 do for you right now? You wanna explain how you plan to use these additional funds to grow or improve your business if you win. How your business demonstrates commitment to your community. You want to share how 
your business has helped the community whether you are going out and you are applying um your funding to some local um, charity or you are supporting other small businesses in your community you need to share how is your business co committed how are you demonstrating that commitment to your community and that's literally it remember it's only 200 words or less okay 200 words or less there are pretty much three overall questions it literally takes about you know a good seven to eight minutes maybe might take some people 10 minutes that's okay what I would suggest you do is go ahead and write your response and then once you do just go back over and read it and check for any errors things like that read it out loud to yourself and see how it flows once you answer those questions you just hit okay once you get past this guys which I probably can't get past this because I didn't type anything right now but basically the next thing they're going to ask you is for a business photo or a headshot so i would suggest that you upload the best photo possible that represents you and your business so if it's a picture of you and your team you can show that like my husband one of the things that he does is he owns a football league so i was encouraging him to upload a picture of them playing football so if you are a community-based organization show yourself at work in the community or show your team at work in the community but if your business is just you and you don't really have anything to show just you know upload a head headshot of yourself okay so it tells you the requirements for that photo to make that photo look best here it says one by one square box photo with dimensions at least 1080 by 1080 um, you just want to upload it here so I'm just gonna go down so the next thing they're gonna ask you is if you would like to stay in touch you know would you like to opt in to receive email marketing communications I just said yes and like they said you can opt out at any time so if the emails coming to you don't apply to you or you no longer want to get them you can always opt out later and I believe that that's pretty much it you're just going to accept their terms of service here and then submit your application so that's literally how fast it is guys to apply for this application it's not going to take you long at all to do this I think that you should put yourself forward for as much um, non-attached I should say funding and when I say non-attached funding that you don't have to pay back for your small business as possible so that you can grow sometimes the only thing that stands between us and what we desire is us so if we could just push ourselves forward to go out of our way to do a little bit more we we will see better results for ourselves so if you love this video don't forget guys give it a heart give it a thumbs up check out the description box for some amazing resources i have for you and and just let me know in the comments if this is something you enjoyed if you have questions did you apply all that good kind of stuff I love to hear from you. Don't forget that whatever you put your hands to shall prosper if you believe, guys, and I'll see you soon.